Hi all. So today I am going to answer some questions regarding Gate Computer Science 2024 admissions. So the first question is this. Sir, this time ranks greater than 1000 have score of more than 650. Last year for the same score it was 600 rank. So should we expect higher cutoffs this time? So this is a very good question and the short answer is yes. Now we can see why. So for this first we have to see the gate score formula. So the gate score formula has two variables. One is the gate uh, cutoff for general and the second one is the average mark of the top 0.1 percentage students. So the top 0.1 percentage students typically comes to that uh, comes to around uh, 100 students. But uh, in 2024, there were in total uh, 120, like nearly 124,000 uh, students. So uh, the top 0.1 percentage will be the uh, uh, will be a top uh, 124 students, and their average marks comes to around comes to around 77.98. And now, if you put these two variables in the uh, gate score formula, we can calculate the uh, score. And uh, I just took a random mark, which is 74.6. And for 74.6 mark, the score comes to around 863. And the same uh, same mark uh, in GATE CSC 2023 uh, will fetch a score of 824. The difference is that the GATE cutoff in 2023 was 32.5. And also the average mark of the top 0.1 percentage was 81.34. So uh, these two uh, metrics show that uh, gate uh, 2024 paper was slightly tough compared to gate 2023. So uh, some of you may not agree with that, but that's uh, that's what gate uh, scored formula shows. And uh, due to this, you can see like if your mark is say 60, your score is 660 in 2023, but in 2024 it is 704. And if your mark is 70, uh, the difference is slightly less. Okay, now uh, now this difference in the score, how will it affect the admissions? So you can kind of uh, say that in 2024, you are whatever score uh, you are getting or anyone is getting is slightly higher than the expected or than the normal cutoffs. So due to that, the gate, uh, the admission cutoffs are also expected to go higher, unless like for some reason, uh, some institutes takes more uh, students. Uh, typically, all the cutoffs, uh, starting from the uh, top uh, old IITs to the lower NITs, every cutoff should be uh, going higher by uh, 40 to 75 compared to the gate uh, 2023 cutoff. And this is specific to CSC only, so don't assume that it will happen for other branches. And we can see the rank score mapping also. So say if your rank is 100 in uh, 2023, your score, uh, score was 820. And in 2024, the score is 863. So there is a difference of 43 for rank 100. And for uh, rank 500, this difference is much more. It is nearly 63. Uh, difference and for rank thousand again the difference is much more as you can see it is 72 and the uh, percentage difference is also going higher as as your rank uh, or as your uh, score is going lower so now this shows that those who uh, uh, got a gate score in 2023 and did not take admission uh, last year and waited for this year they are they are at a slight disadvantage and similarly uh, those who have a gate score this year and want to wait for next year, uh, most likely it will get you a better uh, rank or better college or uh, branch, but uh, that's not a guarantee because who knows in next year the cutoff can be 25 and the marks can also, the top marks can also go lower. But if you are a third year student uh, with a good score, then you are in a good situation because anyway, you cannot take admission this year. So next year, your current score will uh, most likely fetch you a better, uh, better admission. 
Okay, now coming to the admissions, I think uh, most of you have already uh, applied to COPE and also I'm not explaining this slide. Uh, just one point, like uh, uh, I think on, uh, currently uh, the fourth round of uh, COPE admissions are uh, happening uh, and uh, CCMT will, uh, will also be starting. So uh, my one advice is that you should always wait until the last row because uh, as you can as you can see from previous year cutoffs last round uh, last rounds uh, is when uh, you can get the best option and similarly the sports sport round happens so sport rounds are risky and not everyone can wait for it but those who can wait for the sport rounds again uh, you are expected to get a good option uh, in ccmt there is a national sport round and some some NITs even conduct an on sport uh, rounds, but uh, that they may not even publish anywhere. So this is uh, this can be made useful by only those who kind of physically stay near the NITs. And even I don't know more information on this, but if you happen to be around the NITs, uh, you can try to contact some seniors there or like anyone from the uh, computer science departments. Okay, now coming to the next question. Uh, can you share a preparation strategy to follow for GATE 2025 as I am starting from scratch? So uh, the interesting thing is that I think almost 90 or 95 percentage of the GATE aspirants are starting from scratch. Means uh, of all the people I have talked to, everyone kind of agrees that they have studied nothing during their uh, BTEC. <laughs> So, because otherwise, uh, if you have done your BTEC syllabus uh, properly, properly by by properly, I means that if you have studied from uh, some standard resource, done the programming assignments on your own without copying from anyone, that itself means you 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 are not starting from scratch. That uh, you are already like at least 30, 40 percentage uh, of the Gates Computer Science syllabus is completed there. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, uh, or, or almost all the uh, gate aspirants, they say that they are starting from scratch. So now uh, I'm not giving my preparation strategy, but you can see uh, some of the uh, very good strategies given on uh, gate overflow. So the first one is from uh, Rishabh Gupta. So he got Air India rank uh, two, and uh, he he did only self preparation. And this is his blog, which is uh, one of the most viewed blogs in Gate Overflow. And then uh, a more recent blog by Nikhil Dama. He got a uh, All India rank eight. Again, he had shared a, a vast uh, amount of resources. Uh, what all uh, techniques helped him uh, get get this rank? And also, like there are plenty more uh, blog links in Gate Overflow shared by many toppers. So, uh, yeah, personally, like uh, I don't need to. Uh, give any strategy but just one advice don't follow any strategy blindly because if, if it was that easy almost everyone uh, would have done that so gate is a competitive exam like uh, many other competitive exams so you have to stand ahead of the crowd so don't follow the crowd because if you follow the crowd you will end up being in the crowd when the result comes and for example, the average mark in gate computer science is always below 20. And that is below the cutoff even. And uh, only like one percentage or less than one percentage of the gate computer science students get even 50 percentage mark, however easy the exam is. But the topper usually gets 90 percentage. So you can see like the 40 percentage, uh, the, uh, the mark difference from 50 to 90 there are only one percentage students reaching there. And the reason is that majority follows the crowd or oh, like they, they, they follow some strategy given by someone, but uh, don't apply their brain uh, in uh, doing what suits them. Okay, so now coming to the next question, uh, are MTech research programs stressful? So if you ask this question to most students in IITs, or like, uh, so IITs means most students you are asking are toppers, but even they would most likely say that research programs are stressful. 
but i would say it depends on the individual uh, some uh, some of the very good students uh, doing research they really enjoy it and for them there is no stress uh, so now if i uh, if i ask you whether you like research or not mostly you won't be able to answer because at undergraduate level you have no experience to research so only when you experience it you can know whether you like it or not but some tips or like some guidelines you can use for example if you like problem solving if you like mathematics if you like spending hours on solving one uh, problem those are the hints which uh, which can tell that uh, you like research so uh, yeah there are some advantages also in do, uh, in taking a research program uh, you don't uh, you won't be needed uh, required to take a course like a lot of coursework so you don't need to study things you don't like and one advice uh, is don't take a research area you don't like because it will be worse than uh, choosing a btech branch which you don't like and you can see some um, some advices in this link regarding which domain you should choose for masters okay now uh, this question is asking uh, my rank is 185 what should be the best option ta in iit kanpur karakpur guwahati or the three uh, nits uh, three top nits uh, i don't know aiml or nor interested in research but interested in mathematics so interested in mathematics means most likely you will enjoy research but coming to your rank which is 185 mostly you will be getting ta program in iit karakpur and if you see the previous history uh, majority of the students prefer that that doesn't mean that it is the right choice but uh, again that is the safe choice now if you like research again uh, uh, iit like uh, iac iit bombay iitm they are also uh, what consideration so again i cannot comment uh, or like tell that you should do you should choose that because uh, that uh, you have to answer the question whether you will like research or not so but it's a good headache to have because uh, both the choices are anyway good only uh, now uh, yeah you can also follow the below link which is not uh, directly relevant to your question but you can see some points given by previous year topers regarding um, why they choose iac or iit bombay uh, so those points uh, you can map to uh, the institutes you are getting okay so the next question is uh, which is better among these new iits like iit hyderabad or nits or triple it hyderabad uh, so it's an easy choice because iit hyderabad uh, is Uh, now uh, even ahead of iit uh, guwahati or roorkee so that's that's kind of far ahead of uh, any nits uh, triple it hyderabad uh, was always a good institute even like 10 15 years back uh, so it has a very good uh, alumni and research culture so in many ways you can even compare it with old iits the only kind of difference is that the gate toppers usually don't prefer uh, iit hyderabad because it's not uh, not iit sorry triple it hyderabad because it's not centrally funded so uh, otherwise i would say it is a very good choice and any nits i will place below these two but um, again due to the centrally funded uh, thing uh, many uh, many topers prefer top 3 nits and also triple it uh, bangalore and triple it delhi Del uh, delhi are closely behind triple uh, uh, it hyderabad okay so this is a general question which is how to prepare for masters because uh, uh, at undergraduate level uh, most of you don't have any experience to research or like even quality uh, coursework uh and if you are going to uh, say old iits or iac you will be like tensed or not sure what to expect and i, I am sure like uh, i don't know but maybe uh, even some uh, linkedin in, uh, linkedin influencers might have added videos for this uh, but i would say like following videos uh, won't be helpful there you have to uh, start using your brain and you have to start your own your work 
So for that, you can follow this course, uh, which is hosted, hosted on uh, classroom.gateoverflow.in. This is completely free. Uh, you just have to log in using your uh, Google account. And uh, it's like uh, all the materials are there. Uh, they were uh, added by uh, alum like previous Gate Overflow alumni from IAC and different IATs. So there, there is no live teacher there. Uh, uh, all the materials are there. You can just uh, solve them on your own. And if you have any like doubt or something, you can ask in the Gate Overflow Telegram group. And I would say, uh, uh it's almost like <laughs> i will highly recommend you to solve the programming test there are around uh, seven of them and if you can solve all of them it means like you are already done with your uh, uh or the uh, the critical part of your placement preparation is done and especially the fourth pro uh, problem which is on tensor transposition that will really test your brain and also like uh, if you are interested to try something hands on in ml especially on the system side you can uh, follow this blog uh, so this is the project where uh, i am currently working on and it is completely open source so any issues uh, i will be able to uh, help you and typically by default any issue should be raised in github issues okay and now if you are um, uh, not very happy with your uh, gate score and uh, are only getting colleges which are not not the top ones uh, i would suggest you to follow this uh, youtube video where uh, you can see an experience of how to how to get how to manage a very good uh, job uh, even if you are not in a top college so the short answer for that is you have to work harder than uh, if you are in a top college that's all. Uh, thank you and good luck with your admissions and also uh, masters. Bye.